message. I'll, I'll, I'll bring it up when we get there. All right. Let's get this class started today. Welcome into Yoga Playground. Thank you all for being here. If you're joining in on Twitch, if you're hanging out on Zoom, it's, I'm, I'm happy to have you all here. If you're taking class, awesome. You can try things here and there. If you're just watching, if you're lurking, it's all good. I really appreciate you being here. So we're going to start with our in a seated position that feels comfortable to you. Uh, I've got my hips up on a block. It just makes it a little bit more accessible. You can always fold up a blanket or pillows and sit on top of that, and that will work really well. So <clears throat> hands are on the thighs. We're going to sit up nice and tall here. Whew. Just start to deepen your breath. Take a nice big inhale here. A long exhale. Again, we breathe in nice and deep. See how much expansion we can feel through the belly and through the rib cage. Nice long exhale. Good. Breathing deep. And breathing out. Just notice what you feel as you start to breathe a little bit deeper. Things calming down a little bit. Right? Feeling like you're Dropping into your body. We can just feel with each exhale, maybe just dropping in one additional level. It's great. And keep that breath in mind. I say that in all of my classes, right? Bookmark the breath so that we can, we can, uh, come back to it. We can reference it. Ideally, we would be connected with this breath through the whole class, but there are times when we fall out of it, especially me. I'm talking and catching up with Chad and things like that, but you doing the practice, it's kind of getting locked into that pairing of the movement with the breath. And if it gets hard, we just go, oh yeah, I have this nice deep breath that I can come back to. feels really good. Let's draw our chin down to the chest. Start to come into those slow neck circles. Not rushing here, just appreciating all of the space and sensations that we, we can achieve through the neck here. If there's any pain at any point in the class today or any of my classes, feel free to back off or modify. I can't see most of you. If you're on Twitch, on Zoom, I can see a little bit better, but... You're the only one in your body, so you can listen in and see, ooh, that's a little too much for me. And just because I'm saying it up here doesn't mean you have to force your body into it. This is a, a chance for us to learn about our bodies and what it can handle. Let's reverse direction if you haven't. <laughs> You're at the dentist. Well, lurk away. It's okay. You can use this, this relaxation to... Uh, to help ease any anxiety if you have any at the from the dentist. Good. Let's bring the head back to center. We'll we'll do our shoulder circles here. These first two moves we do in almost every single class. You can do these even if you're sitting in your chair at home watching along and not on your yoga mat. So they're very accessible. And this is just these two movements, the neck rolls and the shoulder rolls. <coughs> Really easy to do every 30 minutes, 45 minutes to an hour. If you're working at home, and you're at your desk a lot, just to go, hey, oh yeah, I got to move my body. Reverse directions. Good. Let's get our ringing of the towel. So internal and external rotation <clears throat> through the shoulders. Arms are out to a T. Welcome in, pneumatic. Inhale, get a little taller. Close the fist softly. Exhale, turn the right fist down, left fist up. And you'll start to lean towards the fist that's turning upwards. On your next in-breath, unwind the arms. Exhale, twist into the other direction. See how much rotation you can get there. And you're just moving with the pace of your breath. Breathing in to come back to center. 
Exhaling. Hello, hello. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale. And exhale. Good. Let's come back to center here. Let's inhale both arms up tall. Let's interlace the fingers. And then just side bend over to the right. Notice what you feel here, all the space that opens up down the side body. And you can try to sit a little heavier into your left hip to create a little more opening here. Good. Breathe in, come back to center. Exhale over to the other side. Woo! Definitely feeling this. If you did a bunch of pull-ups yesterday. <laughs> One more breath. <sighs> Inhale, come back up through center. Exhale, bend your left elbow behind you. We're going to take that right hand and just grab onto the point of the elbow here. This is a nice tricep stretch, but we'll add in a little bit of that right side bend. So now we get the tricep stretch as we pull that arm overhead. And then we add in this little bit of a stretch. You may not be able to go as far into your side bend. And that's okay. Nice. <laughs> Gina, you've completely disappeared into the beach. That's really funny with your, <laughs> with your green screen behind you. Hey, Heidi Lou, welcome in. Hello, hello. Inhale, come on up. We're going to switch the arms. So now we're bending that right elbow. We're going to grab hold of it with that left hand. Breathe in, get a little taller. Exhale. We got that side bend over to the left now. So we get a tricep stretch and a lat and side body opener here as well. Breathing in. And out. Welcome in, Heidi. Thanks for coming through. I appreciate it. And and uh, thank you for what you were saying in the Discord. I really like that. It must be uh, tough to be an expat from Texas down in Chile. But it uh, seems like you've found a nice little community here with us. And, and there's plenty of awesome people in the chat. I, I haven't given any shout-outs here, but we've got a couple of really cool fitness and health streamers in the chat and we'll probably be stopping through at some point so let's inhale come on up reach the arms tall exhale let's bring the arms down in front we're rolling over the the knees and coming into our all fours as you see in most of our classes we're going to get the spine moving with some cat and cow on your in breath feel the spine arch so i'm aiming my tailbone to the sky looking up feeling this kind of sagging position through the through the trunk and then as we exhale push the floor away round the back and give your tailbone a little bit of a tuck and see if you can peek down at your belly button inhale feel the arch exhale round it down hey what's up fitness fitness streamer in the house primitive rage how you doing I'm not a, I don't have my, my uh, quick draw shout outs right now, so I will give shout outs when I can. I'm just, first few minutes of this, I am teaching away. So we're moving at the pace of your breath. Oh, thank you, Gina. You don't have to do that. You're, you're here taking class. We also have Pneumatic and Family Frenzy that are streamers as well. Anyone else in here that I miss? Lando Lakes. Imbalanced physique. <laughs> Got a lot of people to shout out. Good. And feel free to take this into a freestyle cat and cow, which is side to side. Maybe get weird with it, right? You can move your hands. You can move your head and neck. Sit through the hips. Just go fishing, right? Go fishing through your body and see where this space uh, where, where your body is asking for some space. Oh yeah, bros and blokes in here as well. 
Made some great progress. Nice. With uh, with what specifically, Connor? I'm doing pretty well myself. Thank you for asking. All right. So let's come back to center here. We're going to go from our hands down to our forearms. We're going to be in this kind of shape a lot today, so I want to make sure that we feel comfortable here. See what you can do to make your arms parallel. You'll see that a little more clearly in this side cam here. And we're going to just dip the chest through so you'll feel the shoulder blades come together and then push the chest away. So we're just doing these like little scapular push-ups. We're making it a bit more accessible by doing this from the kneeling position. This is a perfect pose for doing shout outs. Totally. Yes. Thank you, Gina. If you want to la add a little bit more challenge here, feel free to just straighten the legs behind you. And now out of your plank position, you can do these little movements. So what we're asking the shoulder blades to do is come together into retraction and spread apart into protraction. Squeeze together retraction push apart, protraction. Just a few more there. I actually like these on the knees because I can really get that movement. I can prioritize just getting the movement over, you know, feeling fatigued and, and, and having that quality uh, degrade over time. Okay, let's come back to our full arm position. We'll come into downward facing dog. First one of the day here. Zip. Hips go up and back. Fingers are spread wide here. Hip distance apart of the feet. And so we're trying to get the chest through the arms. Thank you for giving me a shout out on my own channel. I appreciate it. If you haven't checked out Yogahana, check out Yogahana. He's doing great things over on his stream. Fitness streamer, does yoga, some gaming, some music. <laughs> we'll be doing beer yoga next Friday. <laughs> Good. We're just breathing here. Let the feet pedal out. <sighs> Inhale. And exhale. One more breath here. Yeah. We're going to come to the top of the mat. You can hop up there if you'd like. Otherwise, I'm just going to take a slow walk on my feet to the top. Check them. Check them black feet. That's right. I'm letting the head and the arms just dangle here. Breathing. You can shake the head. Yes and no. You can grab opposite elbows here. I'll leave that up to you. <sighs> Good. Release the arms to the floor. Bring the hands to the shins. Feel your spine arching and lifting halfway up. Right. So I'm looking to straighten my back. <sniffs> Try to make it as parallel to the floor as I can as I look down. You'll notice. You'll feel some, some of your back muscles fire up. You'll feel the back of the hamstrings light up. One more breath here. As you breathe out, just drop into your forward fold again so that spine kind of rounds forward. Then we inhale to come all the way up. Arms reach out wide, then they pull us up towards the sky. And exhale, arms alongside the body. Nice. Just shaking those arms out here at the top. Let's flow a little bit more. Inhale. We're going to reach up nice and tall. Folding on the exhale. <sighs> Inhale, lifting halfway up so the hands come to the shins. We're trying to straighten the spine. And exhale, bend the knees. We're going to plant the hands and step into our plank. Take an in-breath here. Chaturanga on the exhale if you know what that is. Otherwise, the knees drop first, then chest and chin come between the hands. I'm going to keep my elbows in tight as I do that. I'm trying to get a little compact here. Use the inhale. Slide forward. Lift up through the chest for cobra. And exhale. Downward facing dog. Nice. 
Now, think of where the pits of the elbows are. See if you can spin them towards the ceiling. You may notice some activation that happens here right under the armpit. Okay, that external rotation gets the serratus and the lat a little bit more involved here. A little bit more involved. Ah, what's up, Dragon Blue? Welcome in. Check out the new, the new uh, sub badges there. You got a nice blue tube man there. Let's raise that right leg up into the air. As you exhale, bring the knee towards the nose and hold. Next in-breath, send it up and back. We're going to do that a couple of times. Exhale, knee to nose. Breathe in. We're doing five of these. Starting to feel our strong core. Inhale. Exhale. This is number four, I think. Last one here. And exhale. We're going to bring that knee to nose, and that gives us a chance to try to step that foot as far up the mat as we can. We're looking to get that foot in between the hands. So if it doesn't quite get there, that's okay. You can just kind of shimmy it on up until it does. So <clears throat> let's drop the back knee. Let's come up for our low lunge. We're going to set up a little bit taller. We had this set up similar on Tuesday. So the hip is directly over the knee there. We're going to bring our bent arms up in front of us, and I'm going to bring my forearms together to touch. And you'll notice that as we reach the forearms away from us, we get that spreading of the shoulder blades. So we're going to move with our breath here. As we inhale, we feel those arms open up. I'm shifting forward. I'm leaning back. And then exhale. Not only am I going to bring the forearms together to touch, I'm going to try to round into my upper body a little bit more. I feel this big hip flexor stretch and this stretch across my upper back. Breathe in, open up, send the thumbs backwards, feel as much or as little of a back bend as you desire, and exhale. So as the forearms come together, we're trying to look down towards your bottom knee. We're gonna do about five of these here. Exhale. This is number four. Last one. Good. Let's come back to neutral here. Drop those hands down beside you. We're going to put our hands, frame the front foot, and we'll step into our plank. You can meet us in downward facing dog, or if you want to build a little bit more heat today, if you want a little bit of a more challenging practice, you can cycle through a vinyasa. So I'm going to show the chaturanga, which is a forward and down motion, kind of like half of a push up. We flip the toes. Inhale, straighten the arms, lift the chest really big. This is upward facing dog. And then exhale downward facing dog. If you just met us here, that's totally fine. I, I skip vinyasas all the time in practices because sometimes I, I'm just not needing that, you know, and you can, you can gauge whether or not you want that much. Take a breath in here. Good. So you can stay in your down dog. This is going to be a little bit more advanced. If you want to work towards your forearm balances, I recommend dropping your forearms and coming into our dolphin pose just for a couple of breaths. So the only thing that's changed in this shape is that I've dropped to the forearms. But, you know, same thing. I'm trying to prioritize my hips up into the air. You can bend the knees if you need to. This is a tough position, though. Not going to lie. Good. Let's come back to full arms. Doo -doo -doo -doo. We're going to make our way to the top of the mat. Hop forward, or you can step forward. Dun -dun -dun. 
Dirty feet, I know. We got those dirty feet going today. It's the beauty of doing things barefoot. It's a badge of honor as far as I'm concerned. Let's bring the hands to the shins. Feel your body straightening out. Your spine straightens a bit here. Fold forward as you exhale. Have an inhale, bring you all the way up. And exhale, arms alongside the body. Good, let's feel that all on the other side. Let's take an inhale, reaching up. Exhale, fold forward. <laughs> I don't sweep my place. No, ma'am, I do not. Inhale, sweeping carpet. That would be an interesting uh, endeavor. <laughs> Exhale, bend the knees, plant hands. We're stepping into our plank position. What's going on, Queen Electro? How you doing? I haven't seen you in a while. All right. Take an in-breath. Exhale. Again, you can take that chaturanga that I showed or the one I did before. A little more accessible. Knees drop first, then chest and chin. <sighs> Inhale, slide forward and up. Exhale to downward facing dog. Family frenzy has got some clean teeth. He's at the dentist right now. I love that he's tuning into a yoga stream while at the dentist. Nothing eases your dental anxiety than poorly timed dad jokes and a dude doing chatty yoga. <laughs> breathe in and breathe out. Ha! Inhale, lift that left leg up into the air. Exhale, bend the knee. Bring it forward towards your nose. Try to get as far up as you can. Inhale. Exhale. We're doing five of these. You really got to push off that back toe to get that closeness up towards the nose. Breathe in, lift. Exhale. Two more. One more here. So try to bring your knee up as far as it'll go because we're looking to step that foot between the hands. Okay, Back knee drops down. And we're going to come up into our low lunge. But rather than shifting all the way forward at first, we're going to stack that right hip over the right knee. Ooh, the mountains of North Carolina. I like that. Are those the Blue Ridge Mountains, Queen, or is that in Virginia, or do they go across multiple states? All right, so again, we bring our forearms together, same little drill here, and feel it might be challenging to even just press the forearms together, especially if you have a uh, specific anatomy that may leave you with more space in front of your arms there. Just do the best that you can, okay? So as we inhale, feel the arms open up Body shifts forward. You can touch your knee to your nose. Nice. Exhale. It takes that little extra oomph to do that. Now, as we bring forearms together, we're curling down. We're trying to look down towards our bottom knee, and that should give us a little bit more of a hip flexor stretch. <laughs> Use puck bag. Your, your boobs tend to totally get in the way. I, I didn't say that. I just said specific anatomy. That could be anyone. I mean, we could have... Freaking Mr. Olympia Arnold Schwarzenegger in here with huge man pecs, and that would be the same. Appalachian, gotcha. This is number three. Yeah, finally getting a little bit cooler here. Be a lot cooler if you did. And exhale. I think that was four. If it were five, we're doing an extra one for good measure. Sweet. Let's drop the arms. Give them a shake out. We're going to frame the front foot and step into our plank. So here, you can meet us in down dog if you want to keep the heat going. You can cycle through. I'm demoing that so you can kind of see what I'm doing. And I did that chaturanga, that half push-up. 
instead of the knees, chest, chin on that one. So just different options that you can do to, to cycle through those series of movements. Down looking mud pose, exactly. <laughs> Lower glimpsing canine posture. <laughs> What's up? Uh, LPDNB. Hey, what's up, Sarah? Welcome in. What's going on? Oh, your little uh, your little snowflake icon blocks out the uh, blocks out the new the new uh, sub badges, but I'm sure you'll see them as you as people start chatting. All right, so again, an option here to boop drop to your forearms for dolphin pose. They call me Flipper, Flipper, faster than lightning. What's that, Flipper? Timmy's stuck in a well. Oh, wait. Wrong show. <laughs> they call him Lassie. Lassie. He's afraid of the water. Probably not, though. Good. All right. Let's drop the knees wherever you are. Let's chill in our child's pose for a second. I'm going to go into a more traditional Child's pose, so I'm gonna bring feet or knees together, forehead to the ground, arms beside me. A lot of us might be more familiar with extended child's pose, which is knees wider than the feet, arms reaching out in front of us here. I'll leave it to you. I'll leave it to Beaver. <laughs> oh, shout out old game lady. Nice, thank you, thank you. <laughs> There's the dad joke. Thank you, Queen, for keeping me honest. You don't have a sub bat. Oh, I thought you were subbed. I thought you were subbed. <sighs> we'll just breathe in here. And since we're in the extended child's pose, let me show you another variation uh, for getting into the triceps here. So I'm gonna bring my elbows a little closer together. Hands come into prayer. And with the forehead on the ground, I can start to bring my thumb towards the back of my neck. That just puts me into a little bit more elbow flexion. And that should stretch out the triceps. If you don't feel as much of the triceps stretch, you may be a little too far out wide with your elbows. So try to bring them a little closer together and that should give us a bit more of a stretch there. How's that feeling? Good, Subu is, Subu's got thumb to the back of the neck. Gina's listening to her body and taking some some uh, cat, like little freestyle cat cows. So anything that we've done building up to these postures, if it felt really good and we go into a pose that's maybe harder for you or it doesn't feel good in your body, feel free to go back to that thing that felt really nice. What I, what I tell students is we're just kind of showing you all of the tools that you have available in your toolbox. And if there's something that works really well for you and your body, Take note of that because you can use that any time. You don't have to be in a yoga class to do it. Um, you, can, you can use that to take care of your body. Maintain your body whenever you need it. All right, what time are we at here? Perfect. Let's go into, I want to do a little bit more um, through these forearm positions. We'll do a little bit of eagle as well. So let's uh, lurk away, lurk away. Sub expired and I can't afford to reset. Oh, no problem, nurse. We'll, uh, we'll get that one for you. I'll give you a sub. All right, so let's, uh, let's straighten the arms, come ba coming back into our extended child's pose. Inhale forward to your tabletop and then exhale back, downward facing dog. <sighs> nice. So there is a... Uh, Yes, there is a there's a kind of a kooky pose I want to throw in here just to try it out. Um, it's kind of like funky. It's like a funky down dog. It's like half down dog, half dolphin. So if you want to try this, um, you can follow along with me. If not, you can just hang out, take a f maybe five deep breaths in your down dog, and feel free to take a rest from there, and then watch the shenanigans that ensues. Because I can't, I'm not even sure if I'm going to be able to do it today. So, how do we get into this downward facing dog? I'm just going to drop only my right forearm. Okay, left arm comes out to the side in line with 
my elbow, okay? Now, I'm gonna bring up my right leg up into the air, and maybe this is where you stop. There is a bind here. If I start to get a little bit lighter into my left fingertips, you see I've tented my fingers. Then I'm gonna bend my top leg. Woo! Now my goal here will be to connect. This is tough, okay? Okay, there's my foot, and I fell. <laughs> I'm gonna try to get into that again. I just wanna see, uh, I'm guessing that Subu is trying this, and he is. It's a tough balancing act, it is. Oh, he connected, he connected. For our setup, we need a little bit of a wider base here because we're balancing on opposite sides, okay? And Renee, I, I think you're following along. Yeah, <laughs> I was just gonna ask, and here she is in chat. Um, um, <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> uh, your butt, yeah, my butt is in, my butt is in the air. All right, let's try struggle bus for me too. I fell out of this. So let's try it again and you can stop anywhere along, along the route. Okay. So again, downward facing dog. I just drop my right elbow, bring my left hand out a little bit wider. Do me a favor. Let's, let's widen the left foot out and the right foot out so that we just have a wider base of support. I'm going to raise that right leg up into the air, bend the knee. So maybe this is where you stop and you could just practice getting lighter and trying to balance with opposite limbs, right? Then, ah, <laughs> I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna get it. Oh, don't fall. Don't fall, there's the connection. There we go, oh, I had it and I fell out of it. It is a tricky, it is a very tricky pose to do. Yes, Subu's connected. Now we're gonna try to lift the hand and the ankle towards the sky. That's a tough, it is a tough pose. Yes. I know Subu got as about, about as far as I got on that one. Not bad, not bad at all. <laughs> your hand can't find your foot. I know you're, you're probably doing one of these. Uh, 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 I swear it's around here somewhere. <laughs> but let's see, I'm gonna try this one more time. Oh, and that's why we call it yoga playground because we have fun with our movement. We try it out. Hey, oh. And I'm gonna come down out of that gracefully. Woo, all right. Let's take a seat onto our heels. Either if you have your feet flipped or your toes curled under. I don't do that one very often <laughs> and it's tricky. How'd you do Subu? Did you get, did you get a solid connection in there? Sort of. <laughs> It's, have you tried that one before? Have you ever done that one? It's a weird one. You can also do, uh, there's a variation where you're half here, half here, and you go up into like a, a forearm balance, which is crazy. Don't worry, we'll do some forearm balance here in just a few moments. So, whoo! We're gonna stretch out that forearm that was just supporting our weight here. So, we're gonna take that left arm underneath, right arm over top. Okay, for most of us, um, if we're limited in our shoulders, we can just work on this stretch here where I'm pulling that right arm across the body, okay? If you have more mobile shoulders, you can bend the elbow and go for your double wrap. This is just a little eagle arms here. And from this shape, I'm gonna lift the elbows up and try to create as much space from the forearms to the face as possible. Okay, I'm gonna go this way. I'm, you're sweating so much, I know. Me too, and I, I shouldn't have worn a long sleeve shirt today. Your hand can't find, oh, you got it. Held it for two seconds, nice, Renee. Well done. All right, keep that stretch going for me, please. Look, Renee's got the little tube man as well. Okay, that froze there, so I'm gonna just deal with that later. I just realized the chat is not coming up on the screen, so Subu can't see what's going on. Okay, where are we? So we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. 
Again, the directions are the same. If you're not, if you don't want to try this kind of ways, crazy, wacky variation, we'll just practice sitting in our downward facing dog and taking five to eight really deep breaths. See if you can start to find a little bit of comfort and ease in downward facing dog. If it's more of a challenge for you. If you're more advanced and your practice in downward facing dog already feels more restful than effort, then we can find some deeper positions. You can even play with your, just your normal dolphin pose. Okay. So let's come back into our downward facing. Yeah, this is, this is tough. Renee, I'm, I'm not going to lie. So from our down dog, we're just going to drop our left forearm. Okay. I'm going to take my right hand. Bring it in line with my elbow, and I've got my elbow bent here. Make your feet a little bit wider here. We're going to lift that left leg up into the air. Maybe this is where you stay, because this is already a challenge for that forearm that's pressing down. This is kind of informing the type of upper back and shoulder strength and mobility that we need for our more advanced uh, forearm stand that we're going to be going trying in a little bit okay now maybe we can bend the knee get a little bit lighter in that right hand reach back Whew. there's the connection and then I'm gonna kick my foot and my hand towards the sky ah! <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to fall out of it. So it's all good. Look, I'm falling out of this almost every single time I try. So if you fall, it's okay. Subu, he's got the connection. Nice. Now he's looking to get that hand and that foot a little higher up towards the sky. Yes, I see space between the heel and the butt. Success. <laughs> Let's try it one more time. Gina, did you give a dolphin a try with two forearms? It's tough. Yeah, it's hard on the shoulders to hold yourself like that. Kathy, hi, welcome in. We're trying this kind of funky uh, half, half dolphin, half downward facing dog. I'm going to try it one more time. I'll give, that'll give Subu a chance to, to try it. You want to see him do it? Okay, hold on. Subu, they want to see you. They want to see you try it. Let's give them a, let's give them a show, shall we? Uh, oh no. Okay. My broadcast software is frozen right now. So it's giving me the, the pinwheel of death. So I can't right now, if it unfreezes, uh, while he's doing his forearm balance, I'll, I'll take it over to him. <laughs> so let's give it a go one more time. I'm just going to talk it through. Cause Kathy, uh, just came in here. And by the way, what's up DJ beats. I didn't say hi. I just did read your comment and laughed at it. <laughs> so for my down dog, we're just dropping our left forearm, right hand lines up with where the left elbow is. Okay. Left leg reaches up into the air. I'm going to bend the knee, tent my right hand so I can feel a little bit more weightless. Then maybe it comes up and you can just practice this kind of diagonal, this diagonal, um, body position. Ah, I fell out of it again. Left shoulder is too crap. Heidi Lou, don't even worry. This is, this is advanced. If you're just joining my class for like the first couple of times, this is a tough pose. Okay. So don't feel like you have to do it. Um, if it, if it's t hard on your body. Oh, Subu, did I unfreeze? I want to show you off. Oh, it's still frozen. Oh, well, oh, well. It, but it's fun to, to try to challenge your body in a, in a relatively safe container. So this is good. You know, and I felt a little bit of weird twinge through this shoulder. So my third attempt, I'm just going to say, you know what? I'm going to let that rest a little bit. So um, that's how we listen to our body. That's what that means there. Nice. So let's go ahead and all sit on our heels again. You can flip your toes. That's going to give us a little bit more of that top of the ankle stretch. You might get a little cramp in your toes. Some of us prefer having those toes curled under. That's going to stretch the big toes. That's going to stretch the, the tissue and the, the bottom of the foot. I always say the one that's more excruciating is probably the one that we need to spend a little bit of time in. I'll watch, I'll watch you do it, Yogahana, and think, no way, but then you, st you do it. 
That's the exciting part. Exactly, Renee. And that's how we get to challenge ourselves. We get to see a thing, have that initial response of fear or doubt or self-criticism. And then we try and, and whether we succeed or not, we get information and we can, we can go about our, our day and our practice from there. Hey, what's up, Grace Yoga? Oh, you just missed our little funky, uh, our little funky dolphin pose, half dolphin, half down dog. Maybe I'll show it here when we, uh, when we get into our forearm balance. But we do need to stretch out our, our, we'll get into our eagle arms on the other side. Right arm comes underneath, left arm comes up and over. So for tighter shoulders, we just grab hold and draw that arm across the body. Okay, otherwise we're going for the double wrap, just like we did. Did we get a shout out for Grace? We did, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'll, I'll show it to you in, in just a minute, Grace. It's, it's a fun one. Actually, you know what? This is a good one for people to sit and hold for a second, so I'll demo now. Uh, and I'll do it on my... I'll do it on my right side since I was just saying, hey, my left shoulder was a little grumpy, so I'm not going to try it again. <laughs> so from our down dog, all right, and this is just for Grace Yoga, another excellent yoga streamer here on Twitch. So I've got one forearm down. I'm going to set my, my left hand in line with my elbow. Then my right leg goes up into the air. So already this is a lot, right? This is kind of setting us up for Pincher Mayarasana. Gives us the, the sensation of stretch. And then maybe... Ah, there it is. And then I'm going to kick my connection to the sky, but I've fallen out of most of them. So it's all good. Okay. So we were in our, we are in our, um, our Eagle arms here. Let's just shake that out. So I know Subu, uh, you've been working on your forearm balances and that's a, a bit of an advanced, more advanced movement. Um, so let me, let me get everyone set up on some things that they can work on while anybody who wants to try a more advanced arm balance, we're working on that. So we kind of have two paths that we can go down a little, choose your own adventure, All right? If you want to keep things a little bit more mellow, let's come down to our belly. If you have yoga blocks, we can place them at about shoulder width apart. Elbows are out in front of us. And we're going to do that same thing that we did in our child's pose. We had the arms overhead. But if you have your blocks or something to raise your elbows up on, we get a nice little stretch from there. So we'll take it easy. You can just breathe. You can listen to our shenanigans. I'm going to give, uh, no, not headstand, forearm balance. It's a, it's a little bit more of an advanced posture. And I know... Um, Oh, Subu, do you want to do your forearm balance or do you want to keep it mellow today? Oh, forearm balance. Cool. So let's get you set up by the wall. Let me see if it's still frozen. I think people would like to see what you got. This might go into like a vortex really quick while we see. No, that's Vivacious Joe. Hold up. Where is the... Excuse me. Hide self. There he is. Let's pin your video. There he goes. But hold on. It's not showing it on my Twitch for whatever reason. One sec. There is Subu. Okay, so we're gonna see we're gonna see what Subu's got. Now let me um let me just show the, the steps so that if anybody's watching along. We can, uh, we can do it, but uh, we will come back to that in just a moment. So to prepare for our forearm balance, and this is more advanced. So you'll notice that Subu got set up against the wall, just like we're doing a headstand or a handstand, any type of inversion. Our wall is like our, our training wheels, if you will, because if we, if we overkick, then at least we have the wall to catch us. So here are some ways that we can build up to that. And this is just a progression train, and you can get off at whatever stop feels comfortable for you. Okay, we're going to start in our dolphin pose, right, from both forearms. I'm going to walk up to a really steep position. I really can't go any further because my shoulders are like, nope. And then from here, this might just be it. We start to feel the support of our upper back 
holding us up. Notice I'm not by the floor. Head is floating, face is floating. From here, we can work on maybe just one leg up at a time, just to feel even more weight into the arms there. Okay, and you can just practice going side to side on those. Our next is just doing little bitty kickups without the intention of getting up. It's just to feel this momentary weightlessness. Okay. Um, kind of like scorpion. Yeah, I guess you could call it scorpion pose, but technically it's pincha mayurasana. So how did we get there? Down dog, we made it steep. We practiced our leg up. Maybe this feels okay. And then you can try just little baby hops. Oop, I didn't do that very well. Right? Not with the intention of getting up, just feeling what it's like just get a little bit of airborne. And let me switch it over to Subu because he's got it right now. He's working on it. So he's up against his wall. He has the comfort of knowing that if he kicks too hard, he's going to have the wall there to support him. So he's been working on these. Nice. There he goes. So you can't see his, his bottom half, but he's still got that same forearm position. There's space between his head and the floor because he's using this strong downward action into the floor to support his body weight. So it's a very tough, very tough uh, arm balance because it requires a lot of shoulder mobility and, uh, and shoulder strength. Yes, exactly, Renee. This is the one that, that mom has been working on. Yes. Subu, nice. That was a solid hold. Was that the longest you've held it? Yeah, for the class. For the class, yeah, exactly. He did it for the stream, everyone. He did it on the stream. He's not, we don't usually feature him all that much, but he's, almost, he's in almost every single one of our classes. Nice job, nicely done. All right, let me try it one more time. We'll just have, I'm going to try one myself just so you can see what it looks like for me. We'll see if I can even do it today. Some days it just doesn't happen, and that's okay. Nice job, Subu. You can take a rest. Whoa, oh, you're getting some shout outs. We got Use Puck Bag saying bravo. Stream pressure is real, says Grace Yoga. Kathy is giving you some snaps. Renee, woot woot. Good job, dude. Awesome. What's up, Helzen? How you doing? We're just doing some arm balances. We were showcasing uh, one of my Zoom students who was trying it. Gina, feel free to try it if you want. We'll put you on stream. Hold on, let's, let's, uh, let's put you on. We're going to put Gina on the spot now. And she's going to try a really, really hard arm balance. Oh my gosh, look at that. You should be teaching yoga. <laughs> That's old game lady, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Parkour, hardcore parkour. <laughs> oh my gosh. All righty. So let's go back to me without the vortex. There it is. Hi there. We're back. Punching bag training today. Nice. Okay. Let's try. I'm going to try one of them myself. Doing all the steps, all the aforementioned steps. Yes. Yeah, someone did, somebody did say parkour, JSV. Your ears perked up. I love that. Okay. And I might fall on these, and that's okay. Dolphin pose. I walk it up steep. I lift a leg. Oh. Oh. <laughs> and that's the trouble with that one. It's a little bit harder to bail out. And so, like I said, some days, some days it clicks, and some days it doesn't. But that's how we would get into it, right? Triple front flip. Oh, my gosh. I don't know how you would even do that. All right, what's our time here? Let's come down onto the ground. My goodness. Let's come onto our backs. And normally we do kind of a static, um, a static supine twist to just calm things down. But we'll go a little more mellow dynamic today. How about that? I have the bed to catch me. That's right. Josephine was about to spot me. She's a good help on the stream, I will say. She's a good help. All right. So like I said, we're going to make these spinal twists just a bit more dynamic here. 
do a move that I've, I've heard called book openers. So as you settle down onto your back, we'll go onto our left side here into a side lying position with our knees brought up to about 90 degrees. If you have something here to support your head, it can make that a little bit more comfortable on your neck. It's totally fine here uh, to just make yourself as comfortable as you need. So here's what we've got. We've got the arms stacked on one another. I'm going to take my top arm and reach it as far over my bottom fingertips as I can. Notice how that pulls the shoulder blades into that spread position. And then as I slide that arm back, I'm going to keep going, open the book into this position. I can't go all the way into my twist because my bed is here. But as I exhale, I'm going to bring that arm back to close and reach. Inhale, open. Try to go all the way down to the floor. I wish I had that much space. I'll be able to demo it on the other side. And then exhale. Oh, I got to bring my hand up so you can see it on the camera. I'm letting this top hand slide as far out to the side as I can before I bring it up and over. Oh. It's the getting out that worries you. Yeah, normally, uh, normally, if had I hit the balance point, and I'll try one after the stream is done, um, you just come out of it like a like a handstand. You just lower one leg at a time. I just, I just happen to over, overshoot it, which is okay. You know, and part of that was what I think is, you know, I did a, a, a several pull-ups yesterday, so my lats are very sore. And I think with that, it's limiting how much overhead mobility I have. So my ability to just micro adjust was inhibited just slightly. So I wasn't able to correct. I went too far over and just bailed out. But it's okay. These things happen. The nice part is that we just get to have fun with our movement, right? Try something that challenges us. Not getting upset if we can't do it, but just knowing, hey, okay, well, what do I need to work on then? What can I, what can I focus my attention on to, to see more progress here? Good. I wish I had more room here to do the full thing, but it's okay. You'll see the back side as, uh, as we turn over onto the other side, and I get to do the other, the other side. So we'll scoot your hips over. Yeah, forearm headstand, that's a nice little uh, alternative. Um, and, and actually, it's, it's worth saying that for a headstand, for, for most people, it's uh, while your head is in contact with the ground, uh, a lot of your weight is supported by your arms and your shoulders in the same way that that forearm stand was. Um, so I think it's a misnomer to say, oh, it's a total headstand. Because uh, you've got to build up to that for sure. So again, we're in this kind of fetal position, left hand on top of the right. We're going to breathe out and reach that top hand as far forward as it'll go. Feel the spreading of the shoulder blades across the back behind you. And inhale, slide it all the way up and open. Exhale, bring it back. Hands touch, slide that hand forward. This is really nice. I mean, this is... It's mellow, nice thoracic opening here. We get some movement across the shoulder blades. So energetic now that I can destroy my room with bare hands. <laughs> well, don't do that. Then you got to clean it all up. Good. And maybe in your first couple, you, you weren't able to get to the floor, but see if you notice that maybe your book opens a little bit further each time. If you're able to get to the floor every time, then just see how smooth you can make the motion. Hey, what's up, little berries? How you doing? Welcome in. Good to see you here. We're just winding things down. Well, we're winding our thoracic spine up, but we're winding the class down.
<laughs> You'll be an animal for your girlfriend. <laughs> there you go. Have fun with it. You do you. All right, let's make this our last one. And we're going to come into our final Shavasana here. The final Shavasana. So we'll come to lying flat on our back. Let's bring this up here. <clears throat> so final Shavasana is a way for us to kind of tie a bow on our practice. It allows us, Subi, you have to head out. All right. Thank you so much. Thanks for being willing to be on stream. <laughs> I just kind of made it happen, but you did an awesome uh, arm balance today. Thank you for, for sharing that. I'll see you. Uh, I'll see you later. <laughs> You're welcome, Subu. Take care. All right. So as we settle here, find a position that's comfortable for you. You might be in your chair, so you can sit and close your eyes for just a few moments and, and think of this like a little, little mini meditation. For those of you who are practicing with me today, <clears throat> you can settle your body down and really feel the stillness and the weight of the body. <clears throat> this is a time that we have to integrate things that we learned. You know, maybe a, maybe a cue helped something to click in your mind or in your body. Maybe you had a realization that, hey, I can do a thing, right? All of those moments, those little highlights that we had for you individually you can kind of bask in that, be grateful for those moments during this time of still, silent reflection. And we also appreciate this effortlessness of lying still you know, m movement is a wonderful thing for our physical body and for our mind but so is stillness intentional stillness because here we get to practice stilling the mind Noticing just where it wants to go. Because boy, does it want to go all over the place. Even our breath here is light, accessible. free. And you can ask yourself, what do you notice here? What comes to mind? What sensations can you recognize in your body? may feel yourself starting to drift off a little bit. You know, the point here isn't to fall asleep. I know we joke that this is our nap time pose. But we're really looking to land in that place of deep restfulness. That space between wakefulness and unconsciousness. Be 
Begin to deepen your breath here. Take a big breath in. Feel your belly and ribs expand. Find the top, tip top of the breath. Open the mouth. Introduce small movements through the fingertips and toes that grow into the hands and the feet, up into the wrist and the ankles. And we'll take the arms, stretch them up overhead, take a breath in. Open the mouth, you can stick out the tongue. Nice, one more time, breathe in. Stretch long. Awesome. Bring the knees into your chest. And let the body roll to one side. Bringing yourself up to a seated position. Awesome. Let me grab my Shruti box. We're going to end today like we do with our three rounds of Om. <clears throat> Om, Om on the range, where the yogis and the Josephines do things. <laughs> all right. As always, you're all invited to join me in these three rounds. <clears throat> we can think of the Om as, as having three parts to the one sound. An ah, an oo, and an m. Mm. And as that, the shape of the sound changes gradually, it's hard to decipher where one ends and one begins. But what we'll notice is the vibration that begins in the chest and moves its way up through the throat and into the head. So see if you can feel that or notice that within your own body if you're joining me. We're gonna sit up nice and tall here, whether you're on the floor or in your desk. Let's take a big breath in here. A full exhale. Inhale for our first ohm. so much for joining in class today. I really appreciate it. Whether you were joining me on the mat, maybe you were following along at home or just lurking, I appreciate it all. Thank you all for being on Twitch, coming in on Zoom. It's excellent to have you here. Thank you and namaste. Yes.